everyone and welcome. Today I will show you how to transpose multiple columns using RStudio. The first thing we will do is create a new R script. Then we will set our working directory. I am using a Mac today and my file of interest is located in my downloads folder, but this may be different for you. So I hit run. And then I want to read in or import my file of interest. So I will be using the read Excel package today. And I actually don't have this installed here. So let's do it together. Read Excel. Run. Okay, and you can see the package is now downloaded. So let's load this library next. Okay, and then finally we can import our data set. I want to call my data frame DF. And my Excel file is actually also called DF. So you can see that now it's uh, been imported. If we hit view, you can also see that it's in a long format with a total of three participants, each having data collected at three different time points. So I will be using the pivot wider function to widen the data. So to pivot data from long to wide. Okay, so first go ahead and install the Tiddyverse package. I already have this installed, so I won't hit run. Instead, I will just load our library. And this will allow us to use our pivot wider function. Okay, so now we can actually do the magic. And I encourage you to always keep your raw data raw and to create a new data frame as you are making changes. So I will go ahead and create DF2. Okay, so what this means is that I am piping the pivot wider function into my data frame DF and creating a new data frame DF2 where I maintain a unique ID column and spread these three variables over my three time points. So let me show you how this looks. Okay, now let's view our DF2 that we just created. And you can see now that we do have our three unique participants and each participant now has a column per variable per time points one, two, and three. So now we've successfully pivoted our data from long to wide. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.